Now, let's go to Niger. Teachers' headcount conducted in Niger State has uncovered a major present problem in the teaching profession. As many as 5,665 teachers are known to be unqualified in primary and secondary schools across the state. And this is a big problem. The Technical Committee Chairman on the Teachers' Headcount, Labaran Garba, presented this year's headcount to a bemused Governor Abubakar Sani Bello at the Government House, Mina. The option now to either ease the quali unqualified teachers out of the system or give them a second chance at education. Paul. Oh, when I read the story, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, there, there are certain stories you, you hardly want to believe. Yes, but again, when I read the story, I found out that I, the, the first, when I saw the headline, the first thing I thought was maybe uh, you had so many people that were not even qualified, that were not educated, but that, that's not the case. Many of them, the case is that many of them do not have qualifications in education. There are 5,600? Yes, there are so many. Well, there may be those who are not, who are ill-educated. But there are graduates of other disciplines who found their way into the teaching profession. And let's, let's look at this holistically. A lot of people went into teaching because they could not find other jobs. Mm. It's easier to, to get yeah, into yeah. teaching. You know, that's the easiest job. So if you can't, if you studied economics, social science, if you studied mass communication, so, if you so, so, so uh, Paul, we can say what Governor uh, Erufai did, attempted to do in Kaduna, that raised the roof. No, in the case of mm. Erufai, if I remember very well, mm. these were people that ill-educated. They, they were not. Many of them were not actually well-educated. They gave them uh, what's it called, test, mm. and they failed woefully. But we are talking about graduates professionals who couldn't get other jobs and found their way into... Um, and they had been earning a salary. Yes, but I wouldn't blame those people. I think it's government that has to have a foresight. It is not just asking them to go. It is even giving them loans or sponsoring them. That's what I even expect. Although the governor said, they were told that, okay, they should go and they should give them time to you know, upgrade yeah, and yeah. get the uh, proper certification. But mm. I think, uh, I, I like to believe that many of them can't even afford to go to school. So uh, what I expect the, the, the government of Niger State to do is to help them, to fund them, even if it is to, mm. to, for them to pay back. And they can easily pay back because they are disabled the service. They can deduct from their, from their salary. From, yes. Emeka, um, uh, there's a saying that the man who does not read has no advantage over the man who cannot read. Illiteracy is a big problem here. Yeah, uh, well, illiteracy... 5,000 teachers. Yeah, well, the point is this. Many governors in this dispensation, the Fourth Republic, have perfected the art of loading the civil service when they are living. Deliberate? Their, yes, of course, it's deliberate. I mean, to... Because there are so many requests there are all kinds of people who work for you, you know, work for you to get elected. Mm. So you have been giving contracts, patronage, and all of that. And part of the patronage has to do with employment. That is why when you challenge certain politicians, you know, I've had cause to challenge positions in different places that are, ah, look at the state of this road. Look at it. I said, no, no, no. It's not as if we've not been doing anything. After all, we put people in jobs. And what jobs? Teaching. So that's the easiest place where they can put people. And then apart from the local governments, where they load people and you see yeah. them on the roads with spikes, you know, doing all kinds of things, moving about with towing vans, all harassing people, motorists. They include the <coughs> so-called ghost workers, though. Oh, no, that is, that is even another problem of its own. <laughs> that's part of why our borrowing is unjustifiable. But that is another topic. Now, the point is, when these governors are living, they load the civil service. But where are they teaching? The teaching a cadence. Hmm. So that when the new governor comes in, he has a bloated workforce. How do you now begin to serve? So you just take people, qualified and unqualified, and push them into the teaching service. Hmm. So the point is for a governor who is serious, a baron in a state well, you should be able to know those who are unqualified. It should not even be an issue. Hmm. It should not be an issue you know, for the media, and then you see politicians now start lobbying. Because when, you see, when politicians start bringing these things to the media, it is to open the way for 
politicians to start interest groups, traditional rulers, to start lobbying. Oh, please, you know, this is our son, you know, in our area. We've not got, um, we don't have many people in the civil service and all of that. For a serious government, it will not be difficult. First of all, remove those who don't even qualify, in fact, who should even be in the market or on the farm. Mm. Because they cannot teach. They're not even educated. So they can't even impart anything to the children. Now, you know the unfortunate thing? We're talking of unqualified teachers. But UBEC, Universal Basic Education Commission, as sat 2019, said that, you know, it said that by 2019 that it would have dealt with the issue of unqualified teachers. Mm -hmm. But this is three years after. We're still facing that problem. Mm -hmm. Then again, the same UBEC said that Nigeria has a deficit of 280,000 teachers. That was our last year. Yeah. 280,000 teachers. And then you have thousands of unqualified persons as teachers. What sort of people, citizens, are you going to produce for the future? What sort of Nigerians are you producing for the future? So what it means is that government, the governors need to be responsible enough to remove politics from the issue of education at all levels. Yeah. Because it's the future of the nation. And basic education is something you cannot toy with. Exactly. You can't just put anybody to teach children. Even, even, those, even, even some of those who graduated from the colleges of education, they don't even have the competence. I don't know what they are teaching them. If we see some of, our, some of the children that go to uh, nursery and primary schools, listen to their English. Uncle have go. Even private schools. Even private Yes, I'm talking even private schools. Even Uncle, private schools. Uncle have go. They, their tenses are very bad and everything. It means there's a problem, from that, there's something fundamentally wrong uh, with this. And this is just Niger State. It's just so like <laughs> across board, we have a deficit. It's a disaster. 280,000 uh, teachers deficit as sat last year. Oh, dear. I, think, I think it's, about I think this it's year. lack of foresight on the part of governments. Lack of foresight on the part Do, of governments. Does education really matter to them? Uh, that's a, a, a very important question. But education is the future of this country. I will talk about education. I'll talk about holistic education. Mm. It includes university education, college of education, college of, edu uh, college of education, uh, technical, technical, vocational, technical, polytechnics, vocation, even yes. vocational education. We are not thinking. We are busy stealing. That's oh, what we are you doing. You and I and Emeka would recall the days of yore where we had uh, teacher training colleges at Across the country. Yeah, even, yeah the there is even a national policy on the recruitment of teachers. Mm. You know, there was a time we had grade two teachers. Yeah. And then it was phased out. Okay, now you're saying that the minimum qualification should be NCE. Mm. Now, in Anambra State, for instance, you had PTA teachers. And they said, okay, let's test them so that we know those who are qualified and all of that. But when you keep using different, you know, do polls, you keep creating areas, mm -hmm. you know, funnels through which you bring in unqualified people into the system. What you're doing is that you are sabotaging the future of the nation. Oh, exactly. And that will bounce back. Just a minute. We have a Musa reaching us from Kaduna. Good evening, Musa. How are you? Are you there, Musa? Oh, we lost the connect connection to him. Yeah, as so, you're saying. saying. The, so the point is, if we have 208, a deficit of 280,000 teachers, I believe by now maybe you're talking about 350,000 or 400,000. Mm. So why don't we try as much as possible to level up, first of all, fill the deficit, not with unqualified people, but with qualified people, because the colleges of education are running. You even have private colleges of education. So you have enough institutions that you know i can provide manpower to fill this gap but politics where politics comes into it you find out that if they are supposed to take each state is supposed to take let's say um to, uh, maybe 500 teachers yearly mm. you see positions will push it to 2000 yeah so you have 500 who are qualified and then 1500 <laughs> who are just Coming from amazing, different amazing places, a any any money. You know, you know, it's a general sickness. America talked about governors trying uh, when they want to leave, they, they, they make the civil service to become bloated. Uh, it's it not only only in education; they do it. See, governor of Costa Rica just appointed ninety nine heads. One of them is special advisor on yam cultivation. All sorts of funny, funny and well, uh, are funny you positions. My people know they chop yam. What? Why do you need a special advisor on yam cultivation? <laughs> 
For what? What is the Ministry of Agriculture? What about doing? Gary cultivation? <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you talking about? It's so annoying. It's so annoying. Uh, but not just serious. The, 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 okay, Yusuf is reaching us from Taraba. Yusuf, I greet you. Good evening. Yes, sir. Welcome. I'm calling from Taraba. Yeah. Taku. Yes. I told them on journalist hangout, right? Yes. Hello? Yeah, go on. Uh, I want to make contribution on the issue they are discussing right now. Go on. Uh, concerning the Nigeria State uncovering of 5,665 unqualified teachers. Yeah. Yes. Good evening, sir. Go on. Yes. I'm calling from Taraba Takun. We heard that. Go ahead. All right. 5,000. Something. All right. Uh, we, we cannot continue with that talk, uh, with that call. Um, when you call in, go straight to the point. I beg you. Yeah. Um, before we um, go over it, uh, Paul, quickly, there must be a way out, quickly. There must be a way out, is to have a plan. Let's bring in qualified people into the system. Those who are not qualified, those who are graduates of other disciplines, should be trained. Don't throw them into the labor market. Mm. Get them trained. But be careful who you let in to teach our children. Or who you let Live out. At yeah, the and, and, and many years ago, if you remember, the in, schools had the, the educational system had inspectors. Yeah. How many states still have educational inspectors who go around, no. who go to my different father, schools? My father was an inspector. Good. Yeah. Now, do you still have that inspectorate system in the states? How solid is that for the inspectors to go from school to school, asking questions? Emeka, Checking the competence you, you, of the people. You are, you are simply the, the, the reminding me, yeah. and I, I think, uh, Paul, that there was a country in this country. Well, we can go we'll back there. We, 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 it's possible to go we'll back there. We'll continue to work. You know, you know, some, 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 you know sometimes when we 